Hello guys. Welcome back to Top 5 Choices. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the, the top 5 best business laptop. So let us get started at the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. Nothing major about the design of the Surface Pro has changed since the very first model, although there have been calls for Microsoft to change things up to keep pace with general trends. The tablet itself is about as thick as today's smartphones, at 8.5 mm, and weighs between 775 grams and 790 grams depending on the hardware you choose. The 12.3 inch 3, 2 screen has an uncommon resolution of 2736 x 1824 and of course it supports multi-touch as well as the surface pen and other styluses. The battery capacity isn't specified, but battery life is rated at 10. 5 hours of typical usage. At the top of the range, you can get a Core i7-1065G7 CPU with 16 GB. Key features of the review unit included a 1.9 GHz Core i7-8665U chip, 16 GB of memory, a 512 GB NVMe SSD, and a Full HD non-touch, anti-glare display with Dell Surface Screen Privacy feature. Like some HP Elite looks sure view, Surface Screen narrows the viewing angle of the display to discourage your rare line seat mate from reading any sensitive information you're working on. The memory ceiling is 32 GB and storage goes up to 1 TB. The three wireless lane choices include 802.11 AC Wi-Fi with and without Bluetooth 5.0 and 802.11 AC Wi-Fi 6 with Bluetooth 5.0. If you're often out of range of a Wi-Fi hotspot, a Qualcomm LTE mobile broadband card for Verizon, Sprint, or Atant is an option. Dell touts the 7400 is the world's smallest 14-inch premium business class notebook at zero. Lenovo offers four other screen options, a 1080p touchscreen, a 1080p touchscreen with a privacy fill tube, a higher resolution 2560 by 1440 pixel panel, and a 4K Dolby Vision HDR400 display. The memory and storage ceilings are 16 GB and 1 TB respectively. Lenovo.com's price for a maxed out Core i7-10610U system with the 4K screen. While it couldn't keep up with the hot rod T14S, the carbon aced our most important test, exceeding the 4,000 points that indicate outstanding productivity in Kmark 10. All five systems SSDs flew through the Kmark 8 storage exercise. Next is Maxon's CPU crunching Cinnabon Char 15 test, which is fully threaded to make use of all available processor cores and threads. Cinnabon stresses the CPU rather than the boot to render a complex image. The result is a proprietary score indicating a PC's suitability for processor-intensive workloads. The 8-core AMD CPU of the ThinkPad T14S dominated these events. The hood of the Pavilion X360 is slathered in a warm gold paint, and stamped at the center is a reflective HP logo. The edges of the hood and the deck curve outward and then inward as they meet each other, creating an hourglass design that surrounds the Pavilion X360. There's also a Pavilion logo on the hinge of the laptop. Opening the Pavilion X360 reveals a slightly more silver tone on the deck, a carved out section for the keyboard at the center and a vent grill for the Bang & Olufsen speakers just above it. There's also a fingerprint reader to the right of the touchpad. Thankfully, the bezels on the display are relatively slim. Folding the Pavilion X360 into tent and then tablet mode reveals that the bottom and top parts don't exactly line up. But the bottom is at least magnetic, so it stayed in one position nicely. At £3.60 and 12.7 x 8.8 x 0 0.8 inches, the Pavilion X360 is a bit of a chunker compared to the competition. The Acer Spin 3 comes in at £3.60 and 13.2 x 9.1 x 0 0.8 inches, while the Huawei Matebook D weighs in at 3.
4 pounds and 12.7 x 8.7 x 0.6 inches. The 13 inch alternative, the Asia Zenbook 13 UX 333 FA, checks in at 2 pounds and 70 pence and 11.9 x 7.4 x 0.7 inches. There are a decent number of ports on the Pavilion X360, including one USB 3.0 port, a headphone jack, the power button and a security lock slot, all on the left side. The Pavilion X360 single quote S14 inch, 1920x1080 display is a little on the dull side. No one wants to lug around a laptop with them for work. It's why manufacturers continue to create laptops that focus on keeping your productivity up while cutting down on size and weight. The 7th general Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon is a perfect example, a 14-inch business laptop that is thinner and lighter than last year's model while also increasing battery life and without sacrificing performance. At £2.40, and pence, you'd never use the word lug when commuting or traveling with the X1 Carbon. It's only 14, 9 mm thick, too, so you can slip it in and out of your bag flying in a middle seat in coach without elbowing your neighbors. Lenovo offers five display options on this model, three of which are 1920x1080 pixel resolution. There are also a WQHD and the A display I tested, although the latter doesn't seem to be an option when buying direct from Lenovo. The A display is nice to have, especially for entertainment but you'll likely need to calibrate when you get it. Mine was a little pink out of the box.